Hello and welcome to this Technic Force tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a general overview look at Ad Response. Ad Response helps you get every sale and lead from Facebook and Instagram ads. It's a powerful artificial intelligence cloud based software service that monitors your posts at all times and cleans up the dirt. It automatically removes all insults and abuses, all posts mentioning your competition, any custom stop words that you want to keep out and all comments with links. It's a powerful sentiment analysis AI engine that removes negative comments. It learns continuously from the comments it gets and keeps improving, so you will only get better and better results as the AI profiles your customers and recognizes what you don't want. AdResponse manages the comments for organic posts, ads, or dark posts, that is, posts that are unpublished but directly targeted to a specific audience. You can also create ad response sub accounts for your team members and staff. They can hide, delete, ban, approve, and reply, all from a single interface for all Facebook and Instagram accounts. It's 100% flexible. You can make it as strict or as easy as you want. Let's take a look at the interface. From the dashboard, you can quickly see all the accounts that you're currently monitoring, as well as the approved and held comments activity on monitored posts. You can also scroll down to see new comments and whether they are approved or held. To get started, click on the Accounts tab here in the sidebar. Then in the upper right, click on the Add New Account icon. Here you can choose either Facebook or Instagram. Let's start with Facebook. The Facebook OAuth page opens up and you can log into Facebook. And if you're adding Instagram accounts, we can do that here or we can select Next to go to the Facebook accounts. We can choose the Facebook pages that we want to add, then click Next. And this will give AdResponse permission to manage our pages, show a list of pages that we manage, and publish on pages we manage. Then click Done. Great, now we've linked AdResponse to Facebook. We click OK, and that'll take us back to the AdResponse platform. Here we can see our new page added, so we'll go ahead and click Add Page to add this into AdResponse. And here we can see our new Facebook page has been added. Next, what we'll want to do is we'll want to add the posts that we want ad response to monitor. So let's click View All Posts. Here we can see the various posts on this account. So we'll select the post that we want to monitor and we'll click Add Post. Now this post has been added to ad response. Now that this post is being monitored, any new comments that are made will be automatically screened by AdResponse. So for example, if someone should post a good comment on this post, or a bad comment on this post, these will each be screened by AdResponse. Let's go back to AdResponse and take a look at the comments. Let's go first to held comments. And when we click on this, the screen will refresh. And this shows us that there are two held comments. If we look at the details, we can see that both of those held comments are on the Facebook platform. One is on the affiliate sales page that we just added. And another one is on our test account that we added earlier. Because AdResponse is holding these comments, they'll be withheld from our Facebook page from appearing in our feed. No further action is needed on our part. However, we do have the options here to reply to this comment, approve it so that it will appear on the feed, or view all the comments of this post. Let's go to the approved comments to see the comments that made it through the filter. And again, here we can see on our various Facebook pages, here is the affiliate sales page that we just added. Here is the good comment that was made and automatically approved. And again, we have the options to either delete this, reply, hold it, or view all the comments for this post. The reply function is one of the things that makes AdResponse a very handy comment management tool. By clicking on this, we can simply choose a reply template, and this will be automatically posted to the feed. We can customize our templates and create new ones by clicking the Templates tab here in the sidebar. And there are a variety of personalization shortcodes that we can access. 
just by clicking this icon here, we can see that by using short codes such as this, that will automatically substitute the person's details for the short code. This ensures that your comments seem personalized even though they're from a template. We can create a new template by simply clicking the Add New Template icon here in the top right. Here we'll select an account, give our template a title, and type our reply with the personalized short code. Then we can add template. Now when we go to Approved Comments, we can automatically reply to this post from Add Response, select a template, and reply. The Ad Response Artificial Intelligence has its own idea as to what makes a good or a bad comment, but if there are specific terms that you don't want to appear in your feed, you can create new rules by clicking the Rules tab here in the sidebar. Here you select the account that you want the rule to be associated with, and then click Add New Rule. So let's say for this particular Facebook page that we want to hold back any comments that mention our competitor whose name is Glibly. This is not a word that AdResponse would assign either positive or negative sentiment value to, so we can instruct AdResponse here that we want to add this rule manually. Now, if someone leaves a comment on our post that mentions our competitor, AdResponse will recognize that competitor's name and hold the comment. This gives us the chance to decide if we want to approve this comment for our feed or not. Even though the sentiment of this comment is positive, we may prefer not to have our competition mentioned at all on our feed. AdResponse will also monitor our Instagram accounts. Simply go to the Accounts tab in the sidebar, add a new account, select Instagram, and AdResponse will automatically detect any Instagram accounts linked to our Facebook page. We can simply click the Add button, And you can see the Instagram page is now being monitored by AdResponse as well. If you have a team or a virtual assistant, you can go to Manage User and you can add sub users. Simply provide their name, email, and password, and then add sub user. Your assistant will then have full access to AdResponse to manage your comments on your behalf. There's also a Reports tab here which is very useful for identifying any errors that have taken place. And under the Settings tab, you can adjust your email settings, your password, your software version and upgrade levels. And you can also adjust the sentiment setting. Of course, if you ever need any help, you can click the Help tab on the sidebar or contact us. And the support staff at Technoforce are always available to help. On behalf of Technicforce, we hope that you found this general overview of AdResponse useful and that it will help you to get the most out of your Facebook and Instagram ads. Thanks very much for watching.